Good morning, everyone. Had the opportunity to go fishing last week, uh, last Friday, uh, but I had to deal with some pretty uh, tough water conditions. The two days prior to this trip, we had some very strong winds out of the north, uh, steady winds, 15 to 20, with gusts up to 25. And when that happens in Pensacola, the gulf waters get pushed out and it pulls water from the bays, especially the upper bays. Uh, two bad things can happen. The first is that you get these uh, low tides, extremely low tides. And I was fishing just coming off a of low tide, so I had very low water, probably uh, two to two and a half feet lower than normal in the areas that I fished. The second bad thing that can happen is it pulls water out of the rivers and the rivers are dirty so I had to deal with some really dirty water conditions. Well I enjoy kayak fishing probably more than fishing from a boat uh, now. Uh, when I'm kayak fishing I'm limited to two things. I'm limited to range, how far I can get away from the launching point and also the location where I launch from. Uh, when I'm fishing my boat, uh, I have the ability to use a technique called running and gunning. When you run and gun, you pre-choose several places that you know you have caught fish before or can possibly catch fish again. And you uh, just fish one at a time, fish them hard, fish them for uh, 30 to 40 minutes, uh, 50 to 60 cast, all kinds of lures and then you go on to the next one if you don't run into any fish. And on Friday that's what I had to do and it was at the fourth spot that I finally uh, managed to catch some fish. Uh, the fourth spot was at the uh, mouth of a creek that empties into the bay and I went up into the creek probably a quarter of a mile before it was over with but uh, I did manage to catch two fish there. Then I moved on to my fifth spot and uh, it was the most productive of the day. I had some pretty good luck there. At each location I tried several lures. Uh, I tried topwater first and then I would try a, a suspended plug like a Miradine or, and I tried spoons and also plastics. The lure that I caught all of the fish on on this day was this little old DOA. It's a fork tail plastic. It's scented, but uh, it caught every single fish on this day. Nothing else worked. So you have to keep trying until you find the lure that's going to work on that particular day in, in those particular water conditions. Well, let's get to the video and I hope you enjoy it and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I have moved to a little creek mouth that comes out into the bay. It's been productive for me in the past. This afternoon would have been a better time to fish today because of we have such a low tide this morning. But the winds have been picking up uh, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour in the afternoon, so that pretty, pretty well prohibits me from going fishing with a little boat or in a kayak. Nice trout.
my ass trout. Nice trout. Just measure and make sure he's big enough. <sighs> 18 inches. He's going home. We'll speed it up a little bit, see if that helps. There we go. Another, looks like a speckled trout. <laughs> he came off in the net. Can't get any luckier than that. In fact, he's so small he's going to go through the net. You're going to have to now because there ain't no taking you back. Little trout. Well, let's go on down the mouth of another bayou. A little piece down. See if we can get anything there. Well, there's somebody on my spot, so I had to stop short of where I wanted to go. But I've caught fish along here, so we'll see. There we go. Little speck. Got him foul hooked. There we go. A little bit bigger. Another one. He's foul hooked too. Oh, good strike. Try that again. Here we go. More. Nice 
this trout. Let's measure him, see how big he is, make sure he's legal. With the shortage of meats, you want to catch a good fish, you want to keep him 18 inches. Well, I've got two good keeper fish now, so I'm happy. My wife will be happy. The new law says you can only keep three now, between 15 and 19 inches. Right at the boat. Uh, little speck. Come on, I'll let you go. See ya. Wow, I seem to have found the honey hole. All right, you can get off if you want to. Oh, pretty nice. He's not big enough to keep, but he's close to it. Go. This one's staying deep. Might be a redfish. Yep, redfish. Nice little redfish.
two spots on one side, one on the other. 